I don't know what to say. What is Kirby Smart and Todd Monken calling? Why would you go for it on fourth down on your own end of the field? I call that stupidity. Uh, Kirby Smart and Todd Monken's blowing this game. And then, you can't even get it in the end zone on the one yard line. Right before half. Tyson Campbell, DJ Daniels need to be on the bench. Both of them has gotten burnt for touchdowns. We cannot cover the receivers. Oh, linebackers and defensive line are playing fine, playing great. But our DBs, they need to be on the bench and put somebody else in there. It is pitiful. Stupidity and pitiful play calling. How are you letting Tennessee throw all over you? Why are you, you, <laughs> you still running up the middle, coach? Why can't you stop? Why aren't we running side to side? Kenny McIntosh has been our best running back today Samir White he needs to be a third down back Kenny McIntosh needs to be our starter from here on out he's got speed he's got mobility I'm going to tell you, if Georgia don't come out this second half and play their butts off, they going to lose. Now, Tennessee's fired up. They got the momentum on their side. And Georgia has got to stop that. Yeah, I, I tell you. I'm about tired of Kirby Smart's play calling and Todd Monken's play calling. Kirby, Kirby Smart in a... Uh, 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 offensive minded coach here same thing again let's keep running the ball up the middle let's keep pounding it up the middle let's not run side to side let's not get swing passes out to the running back oh wait we did that a couple of times, but then we stopped. Huh. 
losing to Tennessee. Good old Rocky Top. At home. At that. Will Georgia come out the second half with a different game plan? Will we be able to actually run the ball, pass the ball? Last week, our receivers played great. And now the only one I see stepping up today is Jermaine Burton. Again, another game. Second play of the game. The center hikes it over the quarterback's head. Oh, give Tennessee a touchdown. <sighs> Kirby Smart. And Todd Monken needs to get their act together second half. Or the dogs are going to be in trouble. Hi. The, the, This is disappointing to see Georgia playing like this. You have all these five stars all on the field. And we're not doing nothing. Nothing. You recruit these elite players. five stars how many five stars are on the field right now almost every player out there and we're playing against two three four star players unacceptable I'm lost for words right now. Kirby Smart is too conservative. Our play calling is too conservative. Disappointed on the way we're playing. You know, I thought Georgia would come out 
and play the way we did against Auburn and to come out playing like this this type of fashion <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable Kenny McIntosh needs to be uh, needs to be playing the rest the rest of this game put Zamir White in there on short yardage plays take DJ Daniels and Tyson Campbell out and put two other players in there that's actually going to cover and stay on receivers it's it's unbelievable the way we're playing you play great against one team then you come out the next week <laughs> and play like this what type <laughs> what type of ball game is Kirby Smart and Todd Monken calling oh our defensive line our defensive ends linebackers they all doing their job but our cornerbacks, once again, Tyson Campbell, you're getting burnt, son. If y'all could, please hit, give me a thumbs up, hit that like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for me I'd sure appreciate it it helped me out a bunch and the way we playing I don't even know if I want to finish watching this game but I still got faith and positiveness that we're going to come back the second half and we will rise on top. Hey, should, uh, should Kirby Smart be a head football coach? Should he go back to being a, a defensive coach? Because the way he's calling plays, him and Todd Monken, it's showing. He is not head coach material. At all. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tennessee has come to Athens and they're playing. Now, their running backs ain't going nowhere. We've contained them. But the receivers, we can't stop. Why can't Kirby Smart see that if the receivers 
are burning your DBs, take them out. Put somebody else in there. Substitute them. <laughs> no, let's leave them in there. They doing great. Let's leave them in there to keep giving up receiving yards and touchdowns. I'm about lost for words. <sighs> one yard line. The one yard line. You can't get it in the end zone on the one yard line. They gonna know you gonna run it, coach. You got your big package out there. Why not fake the handoff and throw a pass to the tight end over the middle or to the corner of the end zone? Oh no, that's too easy of a call. I want to do it the hard way and try to run it up the middle and get the touchdown like I've been running up the middle all day because I can't get away from that play. Disappointing. Aggravating to see. To see Georgia playing like that. I think we're getting embarrassed right now. And and all the coaches know it. Kirby Smart and them coaches need to be in that locker room right now. On them players. You be, <laughs> They need a fire lit up under them. Because this is... Uh... This is disappointing to watch us play like this. Disappointing. Unnecessary. Georgia playing like this at home. Why is it one week you play lights out? The next week, you can't hardly play at all.
Georgia better tighten up second half. Are you going to lose? I appreciate y'all watching my video. Once again, if you could give me a thumbs up, hit that like, subscribe, and bell button, I sure appreciate it. Go dogs.